here today to celebrate the life of Simon James Holland. Known to some of you as Dutchie and Dutch, and I thank you all for being here. Right now he's standing beside me grinning with his cheeky smile going, you got this Sam. So here we go. When a sibling passes away, you feel like you've lost a piece of yourself. You know on a level that few, if any other people do, even though he was my younger brother, he was my rock, my go-to, and now he's gone. Rest now, my brother. I love you. On that first day, we connected almost instantly. We had the same hopes and dreams and both saw a future that included the other. He was so warm and open, he was honest and funny, and he could turn almost anything into a joke. He was a big kid at heart. About two months into our relationship, I received the following text message. Do you want to build a fort in my lounge room tonight? We can have a picnic and watch movies inside the fort. Hell yeah, I wanted to build a fort with him. He was extremely caring and generous with his time. He would sit on the sidelines and wait patiently for an hour while I frantically chose books at a book fair. He never complained. He would just carry my books and say that he was happy because I was happy. Simon gave me this, knowing that I was a Parramatta supporter. And I said, get stuck, mate. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> if we weren't together, he'd ring me up and say, you watching the game? Yep. Have you got my Guernsey on? Nah, mate, it's on the floor. The dog's laying on it. I can't get it off her. Didn't matter where he went, you know, he left, he left a mark. He could, and there's been talk of his, his ability to make a room shine. And, and that was Simon. He was just, I don't know, just a great kid. Had a, a tremendous uh, nature about him. And uh, I'd, I'd like to think I learned a lot from him. It's, I think he's, he thought he was learning from me, but we all learn from each other, but far out, what a great kid. He spoke fondly of a lot of people. I, I don't know that I ever heard him say anything ill of anybody, really. But that was, that was Simon. And I miss him. It's all good. And I, I really thank you people for coming. You've given, you've certainly given me some strength to uh, face this. And um, you give us strength to carry on. Thank you. I won't be closing the curtains today. Family would like to come forward and say the goodbyes and after family have come forward, if anyone else would like to come up and say goodbyes to Simon as you leave the chapel, you're certainly invited to do so.